Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Uh, welcome to the Brian T. Murray YouTube channel. My name is Brian. I, I'm your host. It's, an, it's time for another edition of Kingdom Prosperity Session. Um, we have a very short one, a very brief one, but um, I, I thought this was important enough. We are coming from Leviticus chapter 7. And we're coming from verses 19 to 21. Very short, very brief, but I think a solid point uh, needs to be made. Uh, the, the name of this one is, everything is not included. Everything is not included. Everything is not included. Everything is not included. So those who, who follow me, from, from we, we know that, that, we are, that we always start out with opening prayer. So let's do that now. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We, we, we thank you, Lord, for, for bringing us together one more time, Father, through, through another week, Lord. Uh, uh, another short week, Father. Uh, we, 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 we thank you for, for allowing us uh, 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 to come um, together on, on another day of Thanksgiving, though every day is a day of, of Thanksgiving, Father. How, how, however, it, it gives us an opportunity to, 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 to see our loved ones, to, uh, to a touch uh, base with, with, with our friends and family, Father. We, we thank you for, for this time off, Lord. We are uh, so, so, so grateful, Lord, and allow us, uh, allow us, dear Lord, to make the absolute uh, most of, of this, Father, today, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we are in here together. <laughs> Uh, Leviticus chapter 7 verses 19 to 21 uh, everything is not included so starting in verse 19 it says and the flesh that touches any unclean thing shall not be eaten it shall be burnt with fire and as for the flesh all that be clean shall eat thereof but the soul that eateth of the flesh of, of the sacrifice of peace offerings that pertaineth unto the Lord, having his uncleanness upon him, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. Moreover, the soul that toucheth any unclean thing as the uncleanness of a man or any unclean beast or any uh, 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 abominable unclean thing, and eat of the flesh of, of, of the sacrifice of peace offerings, which pertain unto the Lord, even that soul shall be cut off from the people. Amen. Amen. Um, I knew I wanted to touch on this very briefly. It, it, it's only three verses. I knew I want, wanted to touch on this very briefly. It's because I remember when, uh, I believe it was my sister and, and another minister years ago. They touched on this principle. You may be clean, but whatever you touch, the fact that you touch it does not make that clean. In fact, you being associated or touching it or agreeing with it makes you unclean. See, the unclean thing is the contaminant. It's not the fact that you believe in Jesus and you have faith and you have a good heart and all these things. When you do something, you being involved doesn't make a wrong thing right. This, I think, is so important to really talk about is because we have a lot of uh, well-intentioned, comma, people who can justify everything that they do. What you do is right or wrong, but is right or wrong, but you're not the standard. God's word is the uh, standard. The point of a standard is not for you so much to meet it. It's for you to be constantly frustrated by it. I will say it again. The point of a standard is not so much for you to meet it, though it is important, but it's more important for you to be frustrated by it. Meaning the fact that it's separate from you. So it keeps you from being arrogant. And it allows you uh, opportunity to be humble. It's like, man, the standard is here. I'm here. I gotta, I gotta keep, I gotta keep instead of, man, please, 
I'll do whatever I want. They, they, they will figure it out. No, 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 no. They, there's, no, you will not do whatever you want. And no, they, whoever they are, will not figure it out. There is a standard that is separate from you. We, we have... A lot of pastors over the past uh, three decades that have gotten in trouble in the uh, pulpit and some that who has not gotten in trouble in, in the pulpit. <laughs> Just because no one saw you do it didn't mean you didn't do it. <laughs> Amen. After someone has a indiscretion, the first thing they do is they talk about David. I don't want to hear about David. David is dead. I want to hear about Jesus. Okay? Stop trying to make your wrong right. Your wrong is not right because you did it. No. No. This is... And, and, and see, people can see you. People can see your outcomes. Because you, you say one thing, then you do something else. People are not stupid. People are not stupid. They may honor you, but they but they're not stupid. No, no, this 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 is this has gone on too long. We see this in the pulpit. We see this in in in, in, in churches. We see this in in uh, politics. Uh, we see this in marriages and relationships. Okay. Um, Coach Greg Greg Adams said says something very interesting. When, when, when a man pursues a younger woman, he has to deal with all kinds of name calling. A predator, a cradle robber, uh, uh, a quasi pedophile. He has to deal with all these stigmas, in particular in the black community, because age gap, age gap dating is disgusting in, in the black community. However, it is overwhelmingly acceptable in, in other races, <laughs> in, in particular other countries and, 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 uh, and uh, other continents, because we are the only ethnic group that realize you want a man to be your age and have outcomes as if he's middle age. No, if you're both in college, and the girls are saying, oh, I can't date a man unless he makes $100,000. You're in college. You're, you're an undergrad. So that automatically wipes out 99.8% of the student population, the, the male student population. You have unrealistic uh, expectations. This is why we have a problem where Generation X is the first generation of women to disregard their men. Every ge generation listen to their men, but starting Generation X, absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. I mean, that's also the first gen gen generation of women that think they are innately better than their men. <laughs> Whoa. That explains the lack of marriages. <laughs> how, how are you supposed to marry a woman that thinks she's better than you? <laughs> and how do you supposed to marry a woman and stay with a woman who constantly thinks she can do better? I just saw a uh, a, 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 a meme I've, I've never seen before. It was Lois Lane hugging Superman in a very intimate embrace and the thought bubble is coming over top of her head and in the thought bubble says I wonder if I can do better <laughs> this is a plague this way of thinking is a plague this way of thinking is a plague when you don't know what the standard is and you make yourself the uh, standard you essentially have zero context, which means anything you say or do is acceptable because it came from you. This is this is a problem. Notice how God deals with 
the uh, the unclean or, or the uh, 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 abominable unclean thing. He says, anyone who touches it, coming, coming from verse 21, anyone who, who touches it, that person, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. Why? There's nothing more contagious than a thought and an idea and a behavior. Contagious. Contagious. When a has when when a Hazarus asked for the, the, the queen to come and wear in in the book of, of Esther and to wear the, 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 the royal uh, diadem and, 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 and the royal garments because he wanted her to display his glory. The glory to a man is his wife. So he requested because he's he is the king. He is the king. His word is a law. He called her out to 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 wear the royal garments and and, and, and to manifest her, herself in front of his guests. And she declined. And she declined. Look at the conversation that happened after that. His royal council said, sir, uh, we got a problem on our hands. Because if the queen is going to defy you in front of the guests, it's going to empower the women to not listen to their husbands. That's in the Bible. <laughs> That's in the Bible. That's in the Bible. This isn't some regular dude working at Jersey Mike's. This is the king. And she refused. Like, I, no, I'm not doing that. Okay. We never heard from her again. See how that works? We never heard from her again. In this day and age where a woman will high five a, another woman over the most abominable thing. Not, not saying men don't because we we clearly do. But this is crazy. This is contaminant. We have in 2020, we have the rise of divorce rates and the drop of marital rates, meaning People are getting divorced faster than they can get married, which is affecting the child birth rates. We're, we're going in a bad space. We're going in a, a bad space. So what I like from Leviticus 7, 19 to 21, if you do something that is not Kosher with the rest of the group. Well, who determines that? God. God de 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 determines that. God determines that. Because we live in a society where everything and everybody is inclusive. Everything goes. Everything goes. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Yeah, me too. Everything goes. Everything goes. No no standards, no logic, all emotion. Well, why not? I had I had one of my uh, young guys, and, and, <laughs> and he got one more time to to uh, to uh, do this before before we have a uh, conversation. When I'm saying something, his 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 response is, "Well, is it wrong if that happens?" Is that like, number one? You sound like a teenage girl. Okay, my ex-girlfriend from college, that was her line. Is it well, is it wrong? Well, is it wrong? Well, is it wrong? That's what that's how women respond. So what I'm saying is you have your mother's emotions trying to have a masculine conversation. This is a problem because women outnumber men vastly in our society. 
if every single man in prison and every gay man was married to a woman, there's still 10 million plus women left over. Women vastly outnumber men. And this is by the design of God. It's because that's how you keep a species from uh, um, staying in existence. You have more, more carriers of the seed than you have seed donors. That's how the species survive. However, because we have power of choice, if the uh, seed carriers and the seed donors can never get together and never stay to together, we don't have families. If we don't have families, we can't have communities. If we can't have co communities, we, we we can't have we can't have uh, societal uh, prosperity. If we can't have that, we can't have states. If we can't have that, we can't have countries. We are in a time of hyper individualism. So literally, is every man and woman for himself? That's how we die off. That's how we die off. So everything can't go. Everything is not all right. No, everything is not acceptable. If you touch the unclean thing, you must be uh, cut off. You, your cleanliness, your cleanness does, does not make an unclean thing clean. So just because you do it does not make it okay. No, no. God's word is a standard. God's word is a standard. There, there is nothing wrong with gay people, but it is something wrong with homosexuality. We love the people and we hate the uh, act. The same thing Derek, Derek Carr said uh, about John, John Gruden. You love the person, you hate what he did. That said, we all have homosexuals in, in, in our families and we don't show them an ounce less of love and respect, but we hate the lifestyle. But we hate the lifestyle. Everything is not okay. Everything is not okay. Dude, it is no because what what you what you include today, it will evolve tomorrow. We seventeen years ago, we had the the whole gay rights thing went mainstream. It was always there, but it wasn't on the front line the way it was in in '04. We go from fighting for gay rights to. Train, transgender acceptance. <laughs> Everything <laughs> is going to evolve. Everything is going to evolve for the worse. It's going to evolve for the worse. Why? Because, oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So many that's okay is going to turn into a real problem. And when it turns into a real problem, you can't stop it. You can't stop it. Ooh, I didn't think of that. Yeah. See, God is a king. Kings don't have to explain themselves. It's not our job to co cooperate with God. It's our job to obey God. There's a difference. See, you cooperate with an investigation, but you obey God. You don't cooperate with, with God as if you are this equal entity with rights. Whatever rights you have, they came from, from a God. He is the king. He is the father. We are the uh, children. He is the father. We are the uh, children. We obey God. We don't cooperate with God. No, we have this 21st century of uh, uh, evolving inclusion has created a, a, a plethora of problems that we can't deal with. I'm okay with, with people expressing them, themselves. I'm okay with me expressing my, myself. However, me and judges like everybody else got limits. 
You get you just can't say and do everything and, and, and it be okay. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, this is the country of free speech, okay? Yell bomb on a uh, airplane and watch what, what, what happened. You'll you'll see just how free your speech is as they uh, <laughs> put you in custody. <laughs> 30,000 feet in, in the air, and as soon as the, the plane land, you are being car car carried off by by the the uh, uh, the, uh, the the FBI. No, everything is not acceptable. We have lost our way of standards and boundaries. We have lost our way to standards and boundaries, and this is why we are in a we we are just in a fog as a society. We are just in a in a fog as a society. And the problem, one of the problems I believe is the uh, church is not so much that we say what's right. We don't live what's right. I will say it yet again. It's not so much that we don't say what's right. We don't live what's right. Three things. Number one, you got to stop telling a lie. You got to stop telling a lie. Number two, you got to tell the truth. And number three, you got to live the truth. You got to live the truth. People can't can account. People can't can account. They know how long you will you been married, but yet got all these children. People can count. It's this thing called math. <laughs> math don't lie. <laughs> People can't in an account. Yeah. Yeah. So if they're siblings and you're their mother, but the father is over there and the father's over there, yeah. People aren't stupid. People aren't stupid. To to all my parents who have done wrong in their youth and they're trying to correct their, their children now. And their children have the audacity to hang their past over them in a way where where the parent feels like they can't correct their children. No, don't fall for that. Don't fall for that. That is your child. You are the uh, parent. That is your child. You are the, the uh, parent. Do not back down from someone you gave birth to. I will say it again. Do not back down from someone you gave birth to. No, set the boundaries. Your child cannot talk to you as if y'all are equals. That can't happen. That cannot happen. No. This is crazy. This is this is the same society where where a a, a 27 year old young adult can still live in, in in their parents and to the child and the parents they think the 27 year old uh, 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 young adult is, is still a baby. No, you're not a baby. You're still living in your childhood bedroom. This this is what adds to your uh, a delusion. Because your parents, when they was 27, I'm sorry, when your grandparents, when they was 27, they had a house, a mortgage, a truck, a lawnmower, rent, life insurance, uh, a will, a backyard, a water hose. Uh, uh, a soccer ball. All you got is some socks and a cell phone. This, this is a problem. This is a problem because today's society is goofy compared to the solid generation. This is out. This, this, this is no. It's even goofier compared to uh, the, the the baby boomer generation. Just, just a very goofy generation. Just just making one hundred and thirty thousand dollars a year, and you still think you're a baby? No, no. Miners don't make one hundred and thirty thousand dollars on a LinkedIn level. We're we're not talking children and celebrities. We're talking talk, talk about middle class people. That doesn't happen. This is wrong. This is wrong. So all of society just, 
off kilter. Everything goes. Everything goes. Back at, at, uh, to, to, to my example, an older man pursuing a, a, a younger woman, he's called all these derogatory things. But when Stella get her groove back, it is very glorified. Let a middle-aged woman get a, a younger man. She will be high five by every nationality of woman all over the country. Yeah, girl. Yo, yeah, oh, girl, I got the Holy Ghost. Yeah, girl. You better get, but let a man do it. Ugh, pervert. You, you, you see where it is? See, God created the double standard. And you like the double standard as long as it works for you. But th that's not how that works. The double standard works for God's purposes. Men can accept easily when things don't, don't go their way. We, we, we accept it so much, we, we really don't even question it. We just accept it. Like, okay, cool. Okay. Doesn't make me feel great, but okay, cool. A woman? She will write a blog about it. And get 250,000 likes. It's like, uh, you, you can't be combative against reality. You can't do that. And be accepted by those who live in reality. You, you can't do that. I like, I like when um, Dr., uh, Dr., Dr. Jordan Peterson, I like when he said, a woman can play a man's game and be accepted by the women and the men. But a man can't play a woman's game and be accepted by men and women. No, no, no. That's not how, how that happens. Why? Because the double standard is the double standard. Men can accept when it doesn't work for, for them. Women get an attitude when it, when, when it doesn't work in, in their favor. No. No. This is, this is, it's, it's. No. So, dealing with unclean things and unacceptable behaviors that contaminate the rest of the group. This is what is happening. All over TikTok, you have thousands of women of a variety of races are complaining on why am I still single. This is how reality is treating you. A man does not have to say or vocalize why he's not choosing you. All he got to do is ignore you. See, the woman in her mind thinks she's equal to a man. Not in terms of, 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 of human beings, in terms of gender. Everything is not equal. <laughs> if you have a son and a daughter, that they're both your, your children and you love them. You love them differently and they both have different uh, highlights and functionalities in the house in, and, and in society. Everything is not equal. Everything is not equal. But what we learned about, in particular, feminism is not about being equal. It's about women being in power. Now, this is where we, we got a serious problem. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we, don't, we, we don't want anybody to be oppressed. But we had this growing ep epidemic of the oppressed, the, the victim being the oppressor. This is a problem. Because you think that you can play that role for 20 30, 40, 50 years, and then when you're done playing that, that role, you, you expect to be accepted by a man. No. He might have sex with you, but he's not going to accept you. I just watch a very powerful movie, House of, of a Gucci. I highly recommend that. When uh, the wife was... <laughs> when she was tearing her husband down, Gucci, like 
He was born Gucci. He didn't marry in, into Gucci. He was born Gucci. She married into to a Gucci. When she, when when she was tearing him him down, he was like, okay, okay, you have a good night, okay. <laughs> Later, when she wanted to calm, when, when she calmed down, um, do you like my hair and all that stuff? Oh, very nice. Hey, um, look, tomorrow, I'll need you to be ready by noon. She was like, why? Because our, our, our chauffeur is coming to take you and, and, and our daughter home. This is over. <laughs> he fired his wife from marriage. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Look, don't don't worry about that, uh, y'all. You all will all be well. You're taken care of, but damn, this ain't working. This ain't working. That was powerful. Then she thought she was crying before. Oh, she was she was crying crocodile tears. Then, what, what, what whatever that means, she was really crying then." Because she thought it was okay for her to speak her mind and, and, and operating her feelings. You know, everything got consequences. You can do what you can do and say whatever you want. Just know that consequences come with it. Consequences come with it. And when the consequences came to her in, in the movie, she was stunned. Like, what? Why are you doing this to me? The oppressor switches back to being a victim and this is what what, what we have in, in, in society and it's a problem it is a problem this is how god deals with it moreover the soul that touches any unclean thing as the uncleanness of, of a man or any unclean beast or any a abominable unclean thing and eat up the flesh of the sacrifice of peace offerings which pertain excuse me unto the Lord even that soul shall be cut off from the people because because why it's going to spread it's going to spread you know there is a difference when you have a tone with your supervisor when it's one-on-one -on -one compared to in front of everybody else the penalty is harsher because you embarrassed him or her in front of everybody else. Because if you don't correct that behavior, it's sending a solid signal that's very loud, by, by, by the way. It, 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 it's like a dog whistle. Dr. Dr. Jordan Peterson said, calls it a dog whistle. It sends a dog whistle to everybody else like, oh, okay. So when I do the same thing a month from now, I bet they're not going not to have any pushback either <laughs> compared to y'all having a, 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 a disagreement behind closed doors. My uh, former di 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 director said that. He, he said, I don't mind you having a disagreement with your supervisor, Brian. It's just you can't do it in front of other people. If you got some, some, something to say, go to her office. <laughs> That was what was when my supervisor 10 years ago was, was, was speaking to me as if I'm some dude on the uh, street. And of course, instead of one Negro being her, two Negroes showed up because the Negro in me came out. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was two Negroes in that uh, department that, that, that day. You 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 just can't <laughs> say anything to anybody and just everything be okay. Everybody has something to answer to. Because because I tell you, after I got in trouble, they 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 they, they said, oh, okay, Brian, let's let's and then she got in trouble. <laughs> Negro versus Negro. In, in in the workplace is not good, okay? No, no, no. To get respect, you got to show respect, okay? 
people don't, the, 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 the direction of person does not have a problem with, with correction. Uh, as long as it's not demeaning. Okay. It, you can't be demeaning to another adult. Okay. That you, you, you have, you have this, this problem in the school system. Okay, it, 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 it's because because these last two generations of teachers, no, they just can't say anything to to, to student and to students and no, they don't have a parent to, to answer to. Yeah, and yeah, it's it is it is it is crazy, it is crazy. We got to have standards, we got to have boundaries. Just because you do it doesn't make it okay. It doesn't. It, just because you do it does not make it okay. You got to stop it. You got to resolve it. Immediately. King uh, Sol Solomon says, whatever the uh, dissension is, he says, deal with it quickly. Doesn't mean deal with it irrationally, but deal with it quickly. Deal with it correctly, quickly. Don't let things linger. Don't let things linger. The worst thing that you can can do is blow up. The worst thing that you can do is blow up. I had I, I, I have an an an, an associate. Uh, we were texting over the summer, and, and and like she she reached out to me. I was like, hey, how how are you? She said, I, I, I'm I'm good, whatever. Blah 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 blah. She 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 wanted to talk. She said, "Yeah, I just had uh, a meeting um, with my my new su supervisor." I was like, "Okay, you obviously want to talk about it." <laughs> she said, yeah, "Yeah, I just had to let him know because he he was wrong about X Y Z, whatever, blah 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 blah." And I was like, mm, "I forgot exactly what I text back, but I I text something back." Along the lines of, and you think that was okay to do it that way? Oh, I had to tell him because in in your cocoon, you think it's okay to correct your supervisor. It's wrong to correct anybody above you. That's wrong. I don't care if it's your supervisor, your parent your pastor, a visiting pastor. You don't do that. It's a way to deal with conflict. This, this, this is wrong. This is wrong. It's because you're trying to feel justified. Oh, I just had to let him know. Uh, maybe you did, but the way you did it was incorrect. And you notice that's why your your conscience is torturing you. This is this is why this is why we haven't spoken for months, but yet you reached out to me because you want to talk about this. It's not that you care about me. You want to talk about you. You want to talk about you. You're a selfish bastard. You want to talk about you. It's all, this is why you are in this problem to begin with. It's always about you. We are in a society where, 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 where the majority of us is self-absorbed. We are self-absorbed. That's why we're not getting further ahead in life. Because it doesn't work. It doesn't work. If you want to really succeed in life, you have to do your part to make sure you're doing the right thing and help elevate somebody else. Help elevate. You don't have to elevate them. Just help elevate them. If everybody elevate themselves to a certain degree and help elevate somebody else, we'll all be in, in a better place. We'll all be in a better place because there's nothing worse as as what um, Pat Riley says, the disease of me. After you win a championship, after you reach your, your goal, now it's all about me.
The problem is at least his teams won a championship. <laughs> Most people aren't winning championships and you're still making it about you. You have got to break the calm, the, the, the gravitational pull of you. Get over yourself. You are not as fine as you think you are. You're not as smart as you think you are. You're not as successful as as you think, think you are. You're not as slim as you think you are. You're not as tall as you think you, uh, you are. You're not as sharp as you think you are. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. God has, God does not have a problem with you being elevated, but you can't elevate yourself. That's when he has a problem. That's when he has a problem. You cannot elevate yourself. It's not okay when you do it. No, it's not okay when 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 you do it. But it, but but when somebody else does does the same thing, is wrong. That's not right. No, stop it, stop it. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. Amen. Let's let's end this here. Let's end this here. Everything is not included. We, everything is not inclusive. Everything is not okay. Everything is uh, not fine. No, no. Notice how our society and our homes are in a wreck, but not our jobs. What, what do you mean? When you're funded to behave then there is a measuring line when you're funded to behave. But you're not funded to, to behave in your home. You're not funded to, to behave out in society. That's where we have the most conflict, when everything is social. But, but in the workplace, iron fists. Why? Notice how... The most argumentative young lady, the most arg 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 argumentative, sassy young man can behave for minimum wage. Notice that. Notice that. You can act right for $12 an hour, but you can't act right in your home. That's crazy. That's crazy. Because... Your your home. That's that's you 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 are a significant shareholder in what goes on. If you're a parent, a spouse, or a child, that's your home. Why would you want to add chaos in your home? You you can't add chaos in your home and, and then expect peace. You can't hang outside and sit on people's cars. The cars are not to be sat on. They're made to be sat in by 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 authorized by, by the authorized person. This is crazy. This is crazy. So 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 those that don't have training at home or or or, or, or in the community, when they have their first major dust up at work, they don't know what's going on. You came in 30 minutes late. When you came in 30 minutes late and you made yourself something to eat before you started working, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. This is crazy. This is crazy. You... <laughs> Because you made it about you. No. Coming in 30 minutes late is not okay. It's not okay. That is, that, that is not a okay allowed behavior. And, and then for you to proceed with such a lack of remorse, you start the day with your break. <laughs> I was... In a fast food place uh, uh, um, uh, 
getting something year, years ago. And I heard that, that, that scenario from the uh, manager. I was like, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. No, you, you, no, no. You have got to have someone in your life that will willfully contest you when you're out of line. You have got to have someone willfully in your life, someone in your life who will willfully contest you when you're out of line. You have to, you have to, you have to. Because if you don't, there's no one in your circle that has proven that they truly love you. There's no one that has tr in your circle that has truly proven that they love you. Because people cheering for you will watch you go off the rails. No, no. People who cheer for you don't really mean that they, they care about you. I will say, say it again. The people who cheer for you really don't care about you. But 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 the ones that is willing to pull you to, to, to the side, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, end this here. Dear, dear Heavenly Father, we we uh, thank you, Lord. This 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 is a some world that we live in, Lord. We we thank you, Lord, for first allowing us to 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 mature in our own selves, Lord. We remember how we used to be, how we used to talk, how we used to walk, how 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 we used to behave, Lord. And we can see the sickness that that was associated with that, Lord, and the lack of maturity, Lord. And Lord, we are living in a, a, a society where, 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 where any hint of con con confrontation is met with high hostility, Lord. Lord, you have predicted this in your holy scriptures, Lord. And we thank you for, for, for the warning, Lord. We ask you, Lord, for, for, for grace from you to allow us to proceed in excellence. We ask for grace from you to allow us to proceed with excellence dear god we thank you and we bless you lord and we and we receive it all by faith in jesus name we pray amen all right see you in, in a little bit